So it's not just people from Berlin or Acton or Clinton, but really anywhere. So we've had visitors from all over the world. We're excited to have all of you here, and I think most of you haven't been here before. Is that right? No. Yeah. So we're very happy to have you, and we're very happy to have Off-Ramp Improv here. We sort of feel like it's our little um, in-house improv group, so because they rehearse here, and Meredith started it here, so we're very happy. Well, not just by what's that? Not by myself, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Meredith and the others. Okay. So just a little housekeeping for those of you that don't know, the bathrooms are downstairs. So that you go this way and downstairs. <laughs> and there's two bathrooms, one at this end of the building and one at that end. So you just walk across underneath the bathroom. So that's what that is. They have lots of concessions. So you can help yourself to um, cookies and really good stuff. They like to have money for that. Um, that's their way <laughs> of making money. And it's all uh, for the off and improv group. They want to buy new t-shirts, that's what they told me. So please put lots of money in that green bucket. You might even want to put more money in that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, we encourage them. Yeah, we encourage them. All right, this is enough talking from me. I'm really excited to welcome the Off-Brand Improv first show. I do the intro. No, you did the intro, and then you fell asleep at practice, and then we decided oh, I would do the intro. Fell asleep again, huh? Yeah, it's like the fifth time, actually. Seven o'clock is late. I can know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> All right, listen. I don't, I, we're, we're a group. I don't want to take away from you. You go ahead. All right. Anyways, we are off-brand improv. Um, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to step What? Up. Well, it's not off-brand improv. <laughs> Off-brand improv! <laughs> yeah. Off-brand improv! Yeah. More jazz in the hands. Yeah, you only got so much jazz to me, though. That's okay. Alright. Anyways, we are off-brand improv! Like if I asked for your mother's baby name, would that make you uncomfortable? Yeah. Uh, for social security number. 
car and you have bad driver. <laughs> well, I have something for you. Hey, Mike, did you see that? It's Ed. Hey, 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 hey. What? Hey, what? What? I'm driving. No. No, it's fine. It's a straight oh, line. No. What country are we in? I'm oh, whatever. No. Okay. 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 okay, so what I have, what I have, ladies and gentlemen, to help you with the bad drivers is just a simple little button that you put in your car. It's called eject. Eject. <laughs> And to put it in, it's an aftermarket part. <laughs> oh, an aftermarket. Yeah, you get an aftermarket. And you can put it in your car for about $250. That's not bad. Okay, plus labor, which well. is another, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where can they get it? Where can they get yeah, it? Yeah, where can they get it? They can get it at any auto parts store. No shit, really? Oh, <laughs> wow. We checked it out from these halls. Oh. and Joe to come up on stage with me, please. Because, as you all know, I was wandering around earlier asking you to write down quotes, little lines. Could you pass me that really inconspicuous bucket there, Carolyn? Thank you so much. All right, you probably didn't notice the bucket. I'm gonna ask all of my actors to take out two of these lines, all right? You take out two, please. They don't know what you wrote down. I don't know what you wrote down either. They're gonna integrate these lines into the scene they're about to do. And they're just going to have to roll with it and see what happens. All right? But they don't know what scene they're going to do yet, because I don't know. I need you folks to tell me. I need a situation, a scene, some kind of thing that they're going to do right now for us. Grocery right. shop. Grocery shopping, I heard. <laughs> grocery shopping, guys. <laughs> Let's see what happens when you go grocery shopping. <laughs> Tell me 
next week. Come back next week. <laughs> <laughs> One more item. I know my kids have been asking and asking and asking, and I keep telling them. <laughs> I, tell them. I keep telling them, may the bridges I burn light my way. <laughs>
hope you're all warmed up, because now we're going to play a little game I like to call, What's My Job? So Emily's going to leave the room. Bye, Emily. Bye, Bye Emily. Bye. 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 Don't Bye. worry, Bye. she's going to come back. <laughs> First, she needs to go into the chamber where she can't hear anything. All right, what's going to happen here is Emily doesn't know what her job is. These three guys are going to act out what her job is, basically the scene, and you guys are going to give me a job, but not yet. When Emily comes out and she acts out, they act out and she tries to guess what the job is. If she's close, little golf clap, okay? She's close, right? If she's not close, boom! boom. All right, don't be shy. She's used to it. And if she gets it, yeah! Happy for Emily! All right, now, what is Emily's job? Let me hear it. Host 
of The Dating Show. Mike, take it away. Welcome to Are You My Life Partner in Live Room 19 Camera Studios. You guys all excited to be here tonight? Yeah. Yeah. We have three lovely bachelorettes, and we have a bachelor who's booked to come in. I want you guys to give Aaron a big round of applause. Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, Aaron, it says here you're a DPW worker. I am. Uh, what's your favorite part of the job? My favorite part of the job? Standing around. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, you know what? I get to stand there with the sign. You're going to be sitting here today. Perfect. Oh, God. Well, the way the game works, um, you're going to ask each of our bachelorettes mm -hmm. two questions each. All right. Uh, and at the end of it, you're going to choose which one you want to go on an all expenses paid trip to downtown Worcester. Oh, man. <laughs> I hope you look I'm so looking forward to this. All right, we'll set with these three lovely ladies for you. So feel free, ask away. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with uh, with bachelor number one. I'm gonna say, where would we go on our very first date? Well, Aaron, first thing that would be most important about our first date would be that wherever we went, mm -hmm. I'd need to know where the exits were. Okay. <laughs> That's important. That is very important. Right. I mean, it's a safety issue. Mm. In addition to that. I would have to make sure that you're not carrying anything sharp. Oh. <laughs> if I had to, I could pat you down. Really? <laughs> it's not usually my job, but for safety, it might be important. Okay. <laughs> um, also, it would be really great if you could eat something that didn't come out of a package. That's okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Bachelor Number One. Thank you. Um, I'm going to move on to Bachelor Number Two. Bachelor Number Two. Same question. Where would we go on our very first date? Well, Aaron, I think it's important to recognize <laughs> there are lots of boundaries. Some of them are far out. Okay. Some of them are closer mm. to home. Okay. And um. Whatever we do, we should make sure that it's based in fact. Oh. <laughs> Not a bunch of frilly ideas. Oh. Right? We want to stay grounded, except when we're not. <laughs> when we're out there, then we don't have to be grounded. But right now, when we're having conversation, I want to feel like you're reading what I'm saying and I'm reading what you're saying. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, interesting. I can't. I can't read what you're saying at the moment, but I think I understand. Um, I'm going to move on to bachelor number three now. Bachelor number three. Same question. Where would we go on our very first date? Well, first up, you've got to have a lot of dollar bills. Oh. Oh. Or maybe a couple of fives or a couple of. Jackson, okay. or, 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 or maybe a couple of Benjamins. Oh my oh, god, there's a couple of Benjamins. Oh! Oh. And then, of course, of course, I would have to come down straight on you, like, oh! Yes! 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 I said all expenses. All expenses? It doesn't mean Benjamins, dude. Oh, are you serious? Come on, man! Like, you get a Benjamin, maybe. Oh my god. Jesus. Did anybody screen her before they came in? Did you turn the heat up in here, Mike? For God's sake. All right, Aaron, um, that was quite a lot to take in. That was in. quite a lot to take in, but I think I'm, I'm going to ask another round of questions. Are we good to do that? Absolutely, Perfect. go for it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to Bachelor number one. Bachelor number one. You said that safety is a big important uh, issue to you, and so I want to know from you the uh, um, how is it that you make sure you are the safest you can possibly be? Well, Aaron, <laughs> if you can't, I can help you. Okay. For me, the way I always make sure I'm the safest is I put my seatbelt on. Okay. Pull it nice and tight. Right. <laughs> If in the event of any kind of emergency, yeah. I would certainly put my own mask on first. <laughs> <laughs> and Understand. please, the most important thing, put your tray table in its upright. <laughs> 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 
safety. Safety, I understand. All right, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Bachelor number one. Bachelor number two, um, I wanted to ask you, you said you don't like talking in any frilly things. You like to base everything in, in fact. And so, what I want to ask you is then, are you, you must, you must be a fan of non-fiction books. Uh, so I want to ask you, what is your, what is your favorite non-fiction book? Well, Aaron, I've written many. Have you? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh. Yes. Um, I know. It's not brain surgery. Right. Because it's something else. But. Right. <laughs> Cheapen yourself mm. with, the, with Bachelorette number three. Oh, um, stop I, it! <laughs> I, have, I know facts. If, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, then I don't know if you're really my caliber of person. I don't know if your brain level and my brain level are going to be together. Jeez. Because I can tell you this: she would never understand what I do. Wow. Oh, I know a lot. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? That's that's a that's a perfect that is a that is a perfect segue to Bachelor number three because I want to ask you. You you said you know lots of things, so I want to ask you, what is your favorite thing to do on your off time? <laughs> Ooh, off time. Yeah. I've been so busy collecting dollar bills, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> off time. Yeah. Off time. Does that mean I read a book? No, no, no. Does that does that mean I, I I knit? No, no, no. Does that mean I pleasure myself? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, oh, maybe man. that's what we do on my off time. We pleasure myself, and then we pleasure you, and then wait a minute, that's going into a completely different category. Wow. <laughs> um. Let's just get back to what I love to do. Yeah. Well, I love to just. Laps and take things off. <laughs> <laughs> I love going out. Oh, <laughs> I really love it. Oh, wow. All right, we're gonna cut this one short. Yeah, guys, seriously. Did we screen her? Wow. Wow. Oh, Aaron, I want to ask any more questions. No, I don't think I need to ask any more questions. Right. Like this is. Just, after all that, I, I think I think I'm ready to choose who I want to be my life partner. All right, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I feel this is the hardest part though because I I have to say no to two of them. You do, and and that that's bad. And but you know what? You got you got to say it. You got to do it. So I'm going to start by saying Bachelorette number three. You sound like a wonderful person. You sound like such a such an interesting human being. But um. I, I'm, I'm afraid I'm not, I don't have a lot of money on me to spend on this stripper. So I, I'm afraid that I'm just going to have to say no to this stripper. I'm so sorry. But good luck. That's okay. You can always stop by. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, bachelorette number two. I'm sorry. Uh, you, you, you are you are so you, you sound so fascinating, but everything you are saying is going way over my head. I'm just a DPW worker. <laughs> I, I can't I can't comprehend your your quantum physics book. Listen, it's not rocket science. Well, it might be rocket science. I don't know. I work at the DPW. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. to go with bachelorette number one and she is going to be the best airline stewardess I've ever dated! Alright, so what's up? Wonderful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> How wonderful day if you make it. Won't you be mine? Oh God. Won't you be mine? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have an author in the house, and her name is Carolyn. <laughs> Carolyn is very important for our story time. Yay! Okay. 
And we have our story time players, Ellie, Meredith, and Mike. Okay, and we need suggestions from you. So what I'm going to ask is an occupation. Ha <laughs> ha